Hey guys, this is Reed from Trivia Maker, and today I'm going to show you how to make your first grid game. So let's go ahead and we'll go to TriviaMaker.com. All right, so from here, we're just going to want to launch Trivia Maker, and then what we're going to want to do is we're just going to click Create Game, and then we're going to click on Grid. And here we get a chance to choose a different theme, Christmas theme, a Valentine's theme, Easter theme, a fall theme. But right now we'll just go with the standard and we can always change it later if we want to. We'll start out by giving it a name. Let's just call it Test Grid 1. And then right here you have the option to add in some description or something that might help you remember why you made it. So then you have these two toggles down here, and let's start with discoverable. What this means that if I click that, then what that means is that my game is now going to show up in the public list of games, so it's discoverable, people can find it. And then you have this other toggle, which is downloadable. So if I click that, then what that does is that makes this public game, once people find it, they can click and they can essentially copy it and then have their own copy of your game. And so it's their own, meaning that any changes that you make on yours, it's not going to appear in theirs. And any changes that they make in theirs, it won't appear on yours. So it's basically taking your game as a template and copying it for their own games. And so that's what downloadable and discoverable mean. But for this sake, I'm going to leave both of these off because it's just going to be a private game. So we'll go ahead and click Next right here. And so now it brings up our creator screen. And so we can see we have our title right here. We can see some example questions. Um, this is where eventually we will go to play it. This is how we could share it if we want to. Also, we could always click and copy this link right here if we wanted to share that with people as well. Um, right here, we see kind of a um, preview of what it's going to look like. We can also change, like I said, the public and the downloadable right there. You have options all right here to add this to a collection, to share it, to make a copy of it, to print it out in case you want the answers, be able to something that you could print them out, or you can delete it right here. So let's go ahead and let's add some content. So because this is a grid game, it works on columns and rows. And so think of the columns as categories and think of the rows as like different point values. So let's say we wanted three categories. So we click that and so now we see our layout preview. There's three categories. Let's say we wanted three questions per category. So now we can see right here, category one, category two, category three. This is what our layout is going to look like right here. So let's begin to add in some content and I'll just add in one or two questions. And so let's go, let's say the first category is sports. And then what we do is we just add in the first question. So say, who is the quarter back of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? Put a question there. And if we wanted to, we could add a photo. Um, let's go ahead and try that. We'll add a photo. So what we do is click on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm just going to type in um, Tampa Bay Bucks logo. And so all we're going to do is we'll just go down here and we'll just grab like a photo like this. And then we'll right click it and we'll just go save image as. So I'm just going to throw it in here like that. So we saved a file like that. Let me go back over here and I'm going to add in this image right here. So let's go. We'll just go to where I saved it. Um, it's on the desktop, grid game, Tampa Bay. So we'll just throw that in there. We'll let this upload. We can kind of click this down arrow and see that it's right there. And then I'm going to go here and I'm just going to say, Tom Brady as of 2020. All right, so that's the first question. And you guys can see, you just go and you just begin to fill these out like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And so now that is basically right here. This is our sports category one, question one. And I'm gonna just make sure we save that. Um, and then let's go ahead and I'll just show you how to do some customization. So let's say that we want to use our own set of colors. So we'll go with like a, a red button and let's go with a, a white font. No, let's go with a black font. How about a black font on top of that red? And then our background color, we'll go with like a charcoal, something like that. Um, and we'll save that. And then let's say, let's say I even wanted to put that same logo in what we just, that, that Bucks logo that we just put. So I'll make this be the game's logo, put that in there. And then let's go like, let's find some sort of a football related background. 
So let's just say here. Um, Just put a stadium in here. And let's just, I know it's not the right one, but let's just go with something like this. And again, save image as, and we'll just save it right there. And then I'll go back over here, go here into my thing. I'm gonna change the background. And so we'll just go browse, and now we have this right here. And so then I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Um, and then what we'll do is we will go down here and we're going to do one more thing and that is enable some teams. And so what we're going to do is we'll throw on three teams and you could add all the way up um, as of right now up to 50 teams and you can see them all right there. And if that seems like a lot to fill out, you can download a CSV template, begin to fill in your answers or take your team or whoever's going to be in there, put them in there and then upload that CSV file right here and that will give you those teams as well. Um, but for our sake, we're just going to go with three teams and you can change the team names right here, but we'll just leave them team one, team two, and team three. All right, so now that we've saved this, we're gonna go up and we're gonna launch the game. And here right here, you get three different options for playing. You have your basic game, which is basically a mirrored image where whatever, whoever you're sharing with, they're going to see exactly what you see. Then you have the second option, which is the controller and the presenter. And the way that this works is that you use two devices and on one of your devices, that's gonna be your controller. It's gonna be your iPad, a phone, another window on the same screen, um, a separate computer, uh, all these different things. And so one of them is gonna be a controller. And on this one, you will see the answers. But then on the presenter, it's a separate window and it's gonna be the one that you're sharing with everybody else the answers are not revealed. And so this is kind of handy. It's a little bit more complicated and we have other tutorials for that. You can check them out. Um, but that's the presenter mode. And then the third one is the same thing as controller, but you're using a Apple TV or some sort of a smart device. Um, but for this sake, we're just gonna launch the game because what, what we're gonna see is what we want them to see. And so we're gonna just click the basic. And there we go. This is our game right here. We can see our logo came up. We have our background going there. And let's just begin to click and go through this game. So I'm just clicking right in the middle, and this is advancing it, or you could use the advancing forward buttons up here. And so we'll just hear today's categories. We have sports. We didn't fill out category two or category three, but this becomes our grid. And so just take you guys through a few of the little icons that you might see. Um, right up here, to begin with, this is our theme song right here. We can play that at any time if we want to, or we can turn that off. Uh, we can play an applause, or we can play like a sad, if somebody is sad, you know, somebody gives a great answer but it's not on there, you can always play that and just for a little fun. Um, or you can just throw up a, a little emoji and we're gonna be adding a bunch more emojis there as well, just for fun little interactive elements, um, just to add some fun into whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and then down below here, you see the different teams and by clicking on them, you have the option to manually change points. You can change them manually, or you can just wait until you ask the questions. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we launch the first question. So the way that this would work, you're hosting the game, and you call on somebody from team one, and you say, all right, team one, what do you want? And they say, I'll take sports for 100. You say, all right, sports for 100, get ready, here it comes. And you go ahead, you say, who is the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? And then if they get it right, let's say, let's say they get it wrong first. Let's say they say that it is uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. And so what you wanna do is you want to be able to take points away without revealing the correct answer because if you reveal the correct answer, nobody else can answer it. So what you wanna do is you wanna come down here and you wanna click this little red button. And then what that does is that brings up negative points. And if you want to give them to the person that gave the wrong answer, then click on that team. Um, you can do it like that. Or let's say you didn't want to take away points. So just click this negative right here and it will pop up. And then if you want to close it without giving negative points away, you just close it right there. All right, so let's say team one missed it and you're going to now give the opportunity to somebody else. So you say, okay, team two, give me your answer. Team two answers and they say Tom Brady, which as of 2020 is the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And so you wanna give them points, you click this green button right here and 100 points comes up and then you can click team two and give them the points like that. And then to go back to the board for the next questions, you just go on this little icon up here click that, and then you can choose from any other ones like that. 
Okay, so let's say that you go through the entire board and you wipe out all the questions so there's nothing left and now you want to congratulate the winner. All you need to do is go up here to this trophy icon, click that, and now it's going to say congratulations team two, you won the game with 200 points or however many they scored. So guys, that is it. That is how you create a grid game. I showed you how to add in the questions. I showed you how to add in photos, customize the look of it, but that is how you create a grid game here in Trivia Maker.